describing herself as black, lesbian, mother, warrior, poet, Audre Lorde took the world by storm starting in the 1950s. After facing harassment at a school where she was the only black student, Lorde moved to Hunter High, an all-girls school. Here, she found her first friends who loved poetry and her first girlfriend, Genevieve. This first love had her own struggles though and committed suicide, leaving Lorde to cope through writing. She had her first poem, Morning Genevieve, published in Seventeen magazine on April of 1951. Later, a friend found out that Lorde was lesbian and outed her, which ended many of her friendships. In hopes to get away, Lorde took a semester abroad in Mexico, where she affirmed her identity as a poet and lesbian. This allowed her to go back to New York with full confidence, graduating from Hunter College in 1959 and earning her master's degree in library sciences soon after. In 1962, Lord married a closeted gay man because they both wanted a family and were struggling to be accepted. They both attended the March on Washington, which was Lord's first big civil protest. This inspired her to inject her poems with discourse to uplift black and lesbian voices. In 1968, Lord published her first book of poetry titled The First Cities, which launched her professional career. In 1991, she became the first African-American and first woman to be named the Poet Laureate of New York. Carry this quote with you this week. I was going to die sooner or later, whether or not I had even spoken myself. My silences had not protected me. Your silences will not protect you.